it says I'm live. Guys, we might be live. I'm not sure. Um, it says connect live streaming software. It looks like YouTube is live, but I don't have I don't have video on YouTube. Why well, don't I have video? Uh, I'm in the stage. Sorry, I'm trying a new streaming software for today's video, and it says waiting. It's one. It's live. There's people in here, but we don't have video. Why don't you have video? Uh, blah, blah, blah. There we go. We have video. Guys, we are live. Comment down below if you're here. It says there's six viewers here. Uh, it's not live on my screen. And this all the way down. I'm not on Wi-Fi. There I am. I'm just holding my phone. Okay, welcome guys. ReefSRC Live is live. We are uh, using a new streaming software today because uh, we have a guest with us and I am new to it. So there's going to be a little learning curve, but hang out with me. Reef's out of the office today. Dan's in here. Dan says, let's go. Robert Pezza's in here. What's up, Robert? I'm hoping that chassis hits today. Very excited about that. Uh, Dan says he's looking for a Nita Brass 800 LP. Dan, they're available. They're on the site. Go pick them up, dude. Like, go servos. Brass servo, 800 LP. Oh, sold out. We do have them. They're just sold out. Jason told me to shh. Bro, if I shush, I'm the only one in here. Uh, hi from Oregon. Matt, Casey Crawler's lunch break. Timed out perfectly. Love that. Old Rich is in here. What's up, Rich? Uh, David M. Hello from Temple, Texas. Thanks for joining us today. So we have a little different format for you guys today. I will be bringing on board Jeremy Kilburn, Sergeant Major with At Ease RC, and we will actually be discussing our infamous U4 rigs. So we have this one, which is the OG. There's a wonderful guy in Australia that built this one. That we'll be discussing, and then we have the latest one which is from Team Raffi RC that Kilburn went ahead and dolled up for Reef and got it done with all of his specialty stuff that he does to make everything look amazing. So let's, Nebraska's in here, Steve Paul's in here again. So let's drop that down and let's bring in, this show is much better today, see? Rich knows what's up, Rich is my boy. Uh, let's go add to stage, Jeremy. Here I am. We did it, we did Jeremy. It. We did it. <laughs> YouTube gave me no no video for a long time on my stream, and I was real <laughs> nervous. And it was just black. I was like, uh, "What did I do?" So, Always for every that. right for everybody that doesn't know, this is Jeremy Kilborn with At Ease RC. Uh, Jeremy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so, hobby wise, I started in the hobby when I was about twelve years old. Um, back in the uh, Frog and grasshopper days. Um, been kicking it. I had a local hobby shop that was like a, a how-to shop. So okay. taught me how to solder, taught me how to build cars, how to tune nice. cars. Uh, we did all kinds of custom projects back then. We made drag cars, um, you know, back in the day. There's real long proline bodies, uh, okay, rolling bodies and stuff, um, and. You know, that's how I got my, my start in the hop. And Very nice. I've been doing it ever since. It's always been a part of my life in one form or another. Um, kind of in the last 10, well, probably last 15 years now, um, I've been mainly focused on crawlers. Okay. I get that. Crawling is nice because you get into that little subsection and it's just, it's easier to do. It's easy to have a crawler They're They don't wear out as often. And for me, I was big into racing for so many years, but you go to the racetrack for 16, 18 hours a day for 30 minutes, 45 minutes of drive time where I can get out for two hours with a crawler and have, you know, a crawler and the radio in my hand for those two hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, like we, I used to race. Um, I did a lot of Tamaya. Uh, Timia, however you want to say it, uh, the champion, the TCS series championship. Okay. Uh, fairly successful in that for a long period of time. I Fair actually nice. raced on road nitro uh, back in the RS4 really? days. Okay. Did a little bit of large scale um, basher type stuff. 
uh, ran dirt oval uh, back with a TRX one. Uh, so yeah, I'm I've been around for a minute. Been around. I've seen, seen a thing or two. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, see Jesse Parr is in here saying what's up. What's up, Jesse? Uh, Rad Raff is back. What's up, Raff? Uh, let's see here. Matt's gonna get you out running fast cars again soon. Yeah, he's exciting. he's sucker me in. So I now have a uh, I have a Arma fire team, and I have oh, okay. a, a Traxxas, the um, the bigger slash four by four, the uh, the Ford Raptor, the bigger one. Okay, okay. Uh, so I got those. Max. Yeah, I got some spicy cars. And, nice. Um, I just yeah, I need a reason to run them, and Matt is. He's going That's, me. He's your, he's your reason. He's my reason. G Rock Zombie says, "What's up, fellas?" I think that one's Corey. Corey, what's happening? Uh, Rad Raff is dying at a Rich's zing. I'm gonna leave that up for a little <laughs> bit longer because I was a good zing. Um, so, how did you come to know Reef with Resource C? How did you get uh, familiar with the brand or with the team? So, my my first, I knew that Reef existed back when. Um, the the OG servos were were floating around the 422 okay. the 444 you know triple four triple five and I was actually at Motorama uh, back in 2017. Okay. Uh, and you know talking to another teammate Ashley Wheelwright, uh, oh, he Ashley. he kind of you know he's he's been around for a minute too so uh, he kind of steered me in the right direction toward a couple different sponsors. Uh, and he turned me on to reefs. Uh, 2018, I came back to Motorama running reefs, uh, triple four. Um, and I was really close to podium, um, really close. But Motorama is Motorama. If you've ever been, uh, I haven't been that, yet. It looks so, intense. You know, back, back in the day, I used to help run that event, but then, uh, you know, Recon G6 took it over and, uh, you know, Shred the Ledge was there, and it got super popular. So you'd stand okay. in line for two hours waiting for you know fifteen minute run. Uh, uh, but it it was difficult. It was it was very challenging, and uh, it's all man made, and you know it's put up in a weekend and torn down in a day. So it anything can happen, and it was just a piece of structure uh, broke out underneath my truck, and there was a photographer standing right behind me, kind of. Kind of scared me a little bit. Um, you know, I'm Army, so it, you know, well, now retired, but I was Army, so sneaking up on me is not probably the wisest moves. Uh, but it it caught me off guard, and yeah, it cost me a podium, but it was, I was so close. <laughs> uh, but then meeting Reef, it was, you know, uh, probably another year, year and a half after I was on the team, so I actually met him in person. And yeah, I, I feel like family ever since. Oh, you are family. I love, I think my first introduction, I didn't even know you yet, but you guys were at uh, USTE and he was driving out of the course and you had the umbrella over him. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> who's that? And like Jeremy. And I was like, that's a good time right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was running that construction equipment yeah. out, in the, out in the hot sun. And, you know, he doesn't, I have a little bit of hair. Uh, he's got a lot less. So I didn't <laughs> want him to get burned. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that at any time. <laughs> Looks like Corey was just out on the golf course. Jesse's a little sad that crawlers are no longer allowed yeah. at Motorama. Yeah, they kind of priced us out, so it, it was hard to it was hard to go back up there for the expense, and it was the same weekend as USTE. So, ah, okay. You know, quite a few years back, I traded Motorama for USTE, and it was actually cheaper to drive to Florida. And stay for five days than it was to go to Motorama for three days. <laughs> Jeez, that's crazy. That's and crazy. Motorama is only an hour from me. Oh, oh, that's yeah, that's that's a ridiculous end. Annabelle's back today. What's up, Annabelle? Checking in. Uh, Hero, let's see. RC Garage Guy Customs. How do 800 LPs come programmed from the factory? I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Are you asking for? USC 2025, I I heard Waiting. no, but we'll see. Um, I'm not sure what you're asking. I just li listed a new video on all of our programming features, uh, guys, customs. So 
if you want to get a little more specific, I can try to help you out there. Uh, yeah, last year was my first USTE, and they said I ruined it. That's why it was shut down. So, yeah, no, I'm just yeah. kidding. It's all your fault. <laughs> it, was, it was my first, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> I was I was on my best behavior. Yeah, we had the best vintage, best looking vintage race that year. That's all yes, I'm gonna say. Yes, best looking. The, the announcer race. was fantastic. It's killing it. Killing it. Oh uh, yeah, USTE is my new love. I I I actually I just adore that event just because of all my friends I get to see there. People will come from all over the country, and uh, I I'm missing them. Uh, I so this year, trying to get out to more events in different places, uh, see some new faces. Um, and I'm actually going this weekend up to New Hampshire in the middle of a snowstorm nice. to go play with uh, Dollhouse Land Rover trucks. Okay, that's adventurous. You say yep. it like it. We're we're supposed to have an event this weekend, and they're like, it may rain, and I'm like, I might not go. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to just go out to sit in the rain, especially if there's storm. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, I'm driving uh, into a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I don't think I've I've never driven in actual snow before. Like I've driven like. Up to Big Bear where it's snowed previously, but not like coming down or having any snow issues. Scumbag says, what's up, Sergeant Major? How's yeah, it going? I crawled with him. I crawled out in Utah. I, I do get Oh, around. nice. Yeah, yeah. Did, okay, this is this is blasphemy, Matt. This is un. He didn't even finish a lap. Like, there's documented proof on my YouTube channel. The man yep. didn't finish a lap. I not only had the best-looking vintage car, but I was the only one out there truly racing my beautiful vintage car. I was running resto. It was you were amazing. running hard. Yeah. I was running hard. And then I crawled with it the next day. Yeah. I took that out the other day, just played with it in the backyard for nostalgia. <laughs> I no one, no one locally I can convince to get one. They're like, I'm not paying that much for an old car. I'm like, dude, it's fun. They're fun. Right. But I mean, if you do the bugger, the bugger eight, you know, the V1, yeah. like you can get the best of both worlds. You can get the look, you can get four wheel drive. You I have it. You know, I love it. UTB 18 chest. That one, that one scratches a little too easy. I'm still a little, little scared for it. Robert's confused as always. He thinks he had the best. Did you, did you race yours, Robert, or did you take yours and run and hide? Because I remember it not being on the racetrack. I, I don't remember, remember seeing it. And I think Tony had the second best looking bo uh, <laughs> bug out there because I believe that's Tony's car now. So I'm just saying, Robert. Uh, Robbie it said Robbie you bought yours. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. That's just getting off topic. Now Robert's just crying. I don't know. Are these tears of joy or tears of sadness, Robert. That look that could be sad. It's a little bit of both. But I, I believe it's a little bit of both. Oh, dude, I love Robert Pezza, dude. I the minute I met him, we just instantly started talking trash, and it has not stopped since. I think I kick him off the team every other weekend. He doesn't go anywhere, but I keep trying. He just <laughs> dies laughing. I'm like, you're out. He's like, nah, I'm not going anywhere um so let's see let's put this up i was referring to the dampening and how fast it moves i i'm not sure i would imagine the dampening set at 60. um most of our servos come out at the 80 percent range um i know the 800 lp specifically has a nice stall protection in it so pick up our programmer it'll allow you to change any of those it's very easy to use i just did a video on it but most of ours from the factory are like around 80. Uh, Robert said a little bit of both. He's a good time. Uh, any bear Bay Area RC crawler crew watching? I don't know. I don't know. I don't Which know. Bay? Well, There's the Chesapeake Bay over here, but I don't think that that's what they're talking. About. I, I mean, maybe there could be Chesapeake Bay guys. Maybe Animal's <laughs> local, but he's like, I like the Chess. Out of all the bays, the Chesapeake Bay is the best. So <laughs> let's pull this eight thousand pound rig in front of us here without blocking hurt yourself. too much. I know, dude. I think I just threw out. That is the shoulder. That is my bad shoulder. So, <laughs> so this is a U four rig built from a gentleman in Australia. I think Reef picked this up. Man, I feel like it's like five or six years ago. It's at been a this while. point, it's been a while. Um, I saw the guy build it on RC crawlers. For those of you that don't know, RC crawlers used to be the mecca for crawling information. It wasn't on Facebook, it was the only forum we had. It derived from Pirate 4x4, and that's where you went to get all of your information. They had a lot of great builds, a lot of great suggestions. Um, they all had significant individual threads for individual cars, and they had a good section of like custom builders. My first MOA truck, I got 90% of the parts like through the for sale page 
from the guys on there. Were you an RC Crawlers guy? I'm sure you yeah. were. Uh, yeah. Joined in 2005. I still have an active channel on there. Uh, it's J.R. Kilburn, if you want to look up any of my old builds. There you um, go. It's, yeah, I, that, that I is the place. Yeah, it was huge. I was always too scared to post like a full build. Oh. Like I was like just quietly in the background. Like I was getting ideas. I was commenting, asking questions. But anytime I would like, oh, this is my build. I was like, man, that looks like garbage compared to the next guys. Well, you should go over to Scale Builders Guild on that. God, no, I don't. I, mean, I literally, I don't even. I haven't done man. it. I'm not. I'm not there. I'm not happy. I'll never forget. So my first Axial Fest, the uh, or the second Axial Fest. I think the second Axial Fest I went to, the Ten Two had just dropped with the Cherokee body. I owned a Cherokee. I was a big Cherokee fan. So I went through and I replaced all the hardware with scale hardware. So everything holding the truck together was scale. Every bolt was scale. I made this custom seat, the knuckle ones, everything was there. And I put in like a Lexan interior. And man, according to my friends, it was the coolest truck ever. Dive, they're like, show and shine's ready, concourse ready. I walk up there in my little truck. I look down and I was like, oh, no. I was like, no one, no, I just took that thing back and went and put it over. And then <laughs> it ended up being probably the biggest mistake I've made in the hobby because you don't really carry that scale tool with you every trail run. Yeah. So like when you, when I broke a link, I couldn't replace the link on the trail because it was a three mil <laughs> scale bolt. And then I finally, I had it forever and I was just kind of over it building different things. And so I sold it to a buddy of mine and I was like, he's like, dude, he saw it. He knew the truck. Well, he didn't realize that everything was scale. So when he got it, he was like, I don't even own the tools for this. Why would you? And I was like, that's my bad, bro. Like, I didn't I didn't mean to. I didn't know. So, yes. so I saw this on there. I convinced Reef to buy it. And it is an amazing truck. It is all custom hand built. It is running AR 60 axles rear and front, which are kind of a thing of the past. A lot of guys don't even know yeah. this was the go-to wide axle for a while. It's a full metal cage. You have, I can't switch cameras because the way we're at today, but you have a full interior here. It's running an old Vanquish three gear trans. It actually is crazy overpowered. The ESC in here is an RX-8 mm -hmm. and the uh, IROC like 3,800 KV motor. <laughs> it gets up in boogies. And she's spicy. yeah, she's spicy for sure. And if you can see it, it has one of the original triple fives in there. So I think, no, this one is laser. Oh no, shoot, it's this triple nine. Guys, this is, a, hold on, let me see, can I get this to focus? Is it? Holy crap. Will it focus? It's not gonna focus, is it? Yeah, it's not gonna focus. Yeah, that's a triple nine. I thought it was a triple five, I had no idea. Yeah, that's 999. For those of you that don't know, there's only 20, 22 of these in existence. Yep. Um, it came out, it was something we were going to release years ago. We ended up not doing it, but that's a, it's probably the lowest collector's item of collector's items that we have. Okay. Um, there's, there's one over there in the case. There I'm you go. Laser. Nice. <laughs> See, that's how you know Jeremy's OG. If you have a triple nine, either you're OG or you paid a lot for what? it at some point <laughs> from somebody else. I've had people offer me like 500 bucks, a thousand bucks, like at a whim. And I'm like, guys, no, I don't, it's not coming out. Like, it's just, it's in the case. It's not coming. Um, it has a full scale-ish interior for what was kind of popular at the time. Like it wasn't crazy. Um, all of the stickers match. It has treps on it. Cause that's what would have come on it. It has the, um, like the lanyard style winch out the back. You know, those ones that you use, yeah. but that was a very popular thing for a minute. Proline, uh, scalar shocks you can kind of see like even the trailing arms are welded around like they're custom made like if you can see the tiny there it is you can see the tiny little welds on there so everything on this is hand built custom links custom cage custom everything and it's it's awesome it sits up in our conference room it's a it's a big thing robert says he has two he does yeah, look at Robert. So Robert Robert paid a lot from somebody or traded something. Robert probably only has one kidney now. I'm convinced of <laughs> it. Now I know Robert only has one kidney. Um, let's see. Let's support the Reef guys. Come on. Annabelle's trying to get his Bay Area crawlers in there. Um, thanks from RC Garage. I watched. I was having issues. It acted crazy running a Holmes V3. Killer body. Love that livery. The missing link servo. <laughs> Robert has two in his office. 
Robert's kidney list. So then this kind of brings me to, it's a little lighter, but not by much. Yeah. So I'm not a crazy expert on this rig, but I'll let Jeremy kind of go over what this is, how it came to be, and how Reef got his hands on it. Because I know you were quite involved, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll, I kind of goaded him into buying this one. So <laughs> so this uh, one's your fault. That one's my fault. Yeah, yeah. So I saw these come out. It was um, Team Rappy through Asia Tees. Uh, they did a little blurb on them as they do uh, as things come. These are hand-built. Uh, it's, it, it's an incredible build. Um, it really is. That they, you know, it's kind of mass production, custom building. So some of the parts on there are are resin, uh, just to get the detail. A lot of the interior pieces, some of it's printed centered metal, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. Um, the like the exhaust, the motor, uh, the fuel tank, um, all that stuff is. I mean, it, it full... is super trick, and it, it carries the look so well. So uh, well. When I did the research on, you know, painting this truck or, you know, where all the livery goes on this truck, so there's like six different versions of these, and they don't carry them by year, so you have to look at when the photo <laughs> was taken uh, versus when this truck was modeled and the decal sheet, what it had on it. Uh, some of the decal sheet isn't what came with it it's things that i had and collected over time okay i make it as right as possible i can appreciate um, that yeah, yeah the the detail i don't think i mean we're not gonna be able to do it justice with the camera set up today but like there's all the switches there's all the levers i mean look at that interior yeah, and all those pieces come in bags <laughs> Yeah. So all the switches, all the switches across that dash, they're all metal pieces that have to be put in. Um, so using, uh, you know, the smallest of the small uh, you know, tweezers and, and all that stuff to get them to fit in there. And on top of that, there's no real instruction. So it's just photos that you have the actual truck and what they put on their website to sell this truck. Um, so it, you know, it was a little bit of a challenge to figure out how things got put in yeah. there. I didn't Some see of the it. things I added, like the seat belts, the green seat belt set. I added that's from uh, Sideways RC from you know Drift Guys. Okay. Um, but things like that, I took a little bit of liberty on. Uh, just to add a little more color inside. And if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there's a ton, like besides the scale detail and all of the amazing look of this, because the welds look incredible, everything's great, but there's like 15 different channels or eight different channels or something. Yeah. Like there's a ton of lights. There's Is there shifters, lockers? Because yes. I can see a so, cable through yeah, the back front, of the axle. Front and rear lockers. Um, you have rear drive, front drive, uh, high and low, and I added a winch to it. Okay. So these trucks didn't have a winch, so I added that to it. Um, you know, just just getting a lot of a lot of things in there that you know just oh, kind of added to the detail. So it's maxed out at eight channels. Eight. It's tucked. That winch is tucked up in there so nicely. Thank you. And this is running an eleven hundred. Yeah, it's it's really. I'm going to have to like, I was going to try to take some of it apart to show some of it, but then I was like, I yeah. don't know. There's bolts everywhere. I, I was, I was terrified. <laughs> I know when he sent me a picture, he was like, look how great this is. I need it detailed. And I was like, that's awesome. I can't wait to see it. He's like, do you want to do it? I was going to send it to Jeremy. And I was like, the ladder, the ladder, send it to Jeremy. <laughs> like that's and it, like. And it came in a beautiful case. Like it was so nice. Of it is so nice in the case um you know it's a it's a hard edge case metal it's like it's legit and you know that truck fits in there like a glove yeah my only complaint that i i have about any of this is just the just the wheels yeah the I'm, wheels don't match yeah, anything a, that he's ever ran so yeah. i'm not but other than that I think I, the truck I wasn't a huge, aesthetically looks yeah i wasn't a huge fan of the wheels the way that uh, jd model who uh, produces some of the parts for this. 
Um, the way that they put the wheels on is with individual studs. So you got to take all six of those oh. studs out to take the wheel off. Uh, not a huge fan of that style, and they can be changed over. You can put whatever wheel you want on it. It's a yeah. standard text. I was um, kind of convincing him to yeah change over just because it's it's my only my only complaint. Yeah. But independent full metal A arms yeah. with locker is incredible. I mean, you're talking two shocks, the bypass on the rear, like it it functions. Like it's it's not gonna yeah. outcrawl anything on the world, but you you can drive it i don't know if it's ever been powered up here like i think just your he's never he's never asked me anything so i i imagine it's not been powered up there um, the um i labeled the radio like i was gonna I say the label the it's very well done yeah um i i ran it so but like i don't I even see problems. so does this come off for the battery uh no it's the side compartment facing you it's a little twist lock that gas door is a twist lock No, nope, that's not for me. That's not for me. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little finicky, but it's a it's a twist lock, and then that side comes off, and that's what. Oh, happens. I can kind of see it now. Yeah, that's not for me. This is why I didn't take it apart because, like, I'm very kind of brutish when it comes to to shit. Uh, let's see, what is Rad Raf talking about? Brick, which Brock, which one of these are you bringing to Horseman's this weekend, or is it just the Reef Ripper? He's not here. I could grab the Ripper, and he couldn't say no. Um, I is it wait, what's at Horseman's this weekend? I'm going to Johnson Valley, I'm going to the uh Crawlers and Coffee event. That's that's not at Horseman's, is it? What's at Horseman's? I didn't know. Am I going to the wrong spot? <laughs> I might be going to the wrong spot. I was, I was planning, I got a thing for the Crawlers and Coffee. I'm gonna bring my Rock Pirates rig, my Hackalack from that uh Harley Designs Josh built up, and then I'm gonna build up uh, I'm gonna bring my SEX 6 Honcho. Um, oh yeah, so no, you're yeah, so I'm going to the right spot. Cuker Buttes, that's where I'm going. That's the place. So there's gonna be a night crawl Saturday and then into Sunday, some stuff going on. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna bring the Rock Pirates rig, my Hackalack, and then the SEX 6 honcho because I painted up a beautiful body for it and I forgot the remote when we went to Proline. And I wasn't gonna like I didn't want to reprogram everything. I was like, I like it on its own remote, I like it being individual. So I didn't do I didn't run it, so I haven't have it running it since September. So that speaking of ProLine, that's like my go-to event. Like that's my favorite. Nothing comes close to it. Nothing meets it. It's it's the like mecca of RC crawling for me. Like all the local buddies come there. It's big enough where you get people from out of state, out of country that you, you rarely see. The crawling's obviously epic. The weather's hit or miss sometimes. Last year it was nice. It was a little windy. That destroyed my allergies, really ruined my trip. But most of the time, it's it's just it's a blast. It's the yeah. I, ideal. I got to get back out the pro line. I think I'm going to do Axial Fest West this year okay. with Operation Eleven Charlie. Okay. And I'll be definitely be at Badlands and uh, Beat the Creek. So. Perfect. So we're doing Beat the Creek, skipping Badlands, Axial Fest West, and Pro Line. We'll be at. But um, I'm excited for Beat the Creek. I've never been. I'm excited to go. Um, should be a good time. I think I'm going to bring yeah, two trucks. Yeah. I'm going to bring my comp truck and then my Rock Pirates rig just because it's like the fanciest looking rig I have. Um, yeah, I was thinking gonna, about, we got to figure out which truck we're going to run through the barn um, and potentially destroy. So I don't like that word. I don't want, I don't want to destroy any, any truck. I mean, I'll just grab a reef truck and destroy it right now. <laughs> but I don't really want to destroy any of my trucks. Well, I mean, you're only destroyed if you're a bad driver or you're intentional about destroying it. Um, but by the time you get done at the end of the barn, when you come down the slide, like you're you're ready to hit the trigger and go. Okay. So that's where most people's trucks break. Okay. Um, it's coming out of the barn for the out final the time because you've been kind of pent up and ah. very focused the entire time. And then you so just you just want to send it. Okay, so no drinking before I try to crawl the barn. Well, <laughs> I mean, that I mean, pent up a long drive and then a slide. Like, now I think you want to watch me break my rig, is what you want to do. Kinda. I think that's what you're looking for. <laughs> I think you're trying to goat me into breaking my rig. That's that's what you're looking for. Yeah, um, last year we ran the, the SCX pros that we all built up for our. Oh, yeah, you guys had that. That was comp. cool. Yeah, that so was we cool. ran those. 
that was part of the deal. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I could be down. For I got that. actually got a rig pad. Um, I got the Ascent Fusion, so I may do that one. The bar. That's pretty good. I got a new. I got SCX10 portal axles, uh, Deluxe Trans carbon chassis that I've been like futzing around with. That's been doing pretty good for me. So I, I'll probably bring that as like my um main running truck and then the rock pirates truck just looks so good purple frame rails it's got my splatter pattern on it custom wheels so yeah it's pretty good uh jesse's going to beat the creek for the first time too see you there jesse what's up it's exciting uh matt just says don't drive like luke and your truck will survive i mean that's easy no one no one's that crazy yeah luke had he had driver's legs hanging out the out of the body of the truck into the tires i think there's a battery incident was it still that same capra that's like a quarter built uh no it was a it was a, like a comp truck with a Yoda oh, oh it was, okay it's kind of like my ish build back ish here. build no the last time i went out with him he was still running that capra that had like no panels on it no interior the dig was still zip tied even though he was with the servo <laughs> manufacturer <laughs> yeah was no, it, it wasn't that one yeah, oh, that's good. Uh, James wish he was coming with us to Kentucky. James, so do I. It's going to be a good time. Robert's, Robert's just out here lying. Can't wait to see my homies. Don't lie, Robert. You don't have to lie. Uh, I'm going to beat the creek as well. Frankie Mabry. Mabry. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I will come by, stop by, say hi. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how it works. Um, this will be my first one, so I'm, I'm excited to figure it out. Dude, what? Oscar's yeah, in so, here. Oscar, what's up, buddy? So you're the new guy. So you have to sleep underneath the tables at on site as awesome. the as security guy for the night. You broke you broke up all there. I heard you're the new <laughs> guy and you get to sleep is all I heard. Like that's all yeah. that process. You know, yeah, that's you, that's all you need to know. You get to you get to sleep. That's all yeah. I need to do. It's just need to sleep. Um, <laughs> Oscar's in here. Oscar, what's up, buddy? Thanks for joining. Yeah. As you can see. Lighting's better today. There's no reflection coming off washing me out. Like I look like a normal <laughs> human. The lighting's good. It's a little bright on the rigs to show it off. But it yeah, Oscar, good. Oscar called me last time. He was like, "Bro, you got to fix your lighting." I was like, "I know it's the reflection. Like I can't, I can't help it. Like I gotta." He needs to wear a hat or something. I know mine's bright. Like I got, I got lamps right above me. And it's, it's mostly because of work. I work from the same this desk. So. Oh, okay. Damn, now Oscar's out there throwing shots. All I do is sleep. If it said drink, I would agree with you. <laughs> that would be an accurate statement. Man, I come home from some of these events and whew, my body is a aching. Yeah, no, we bought different lights in here that were like recommended and they weren't the ones I run in my home studio. And I think I like mine better. Mine are cheaper and bigger and not as easily usable. But these ones, like it's hard to set it and there's not enough like diffusion, you get a lot of shadows. So I think yeah. I might update those soon. Yeah, because I have uh, like the overhead lights on now too. Yeah, I need to get a, a set of stands for behind the behind the camera. Yeah, I, I just picked up a set of I'm not normally as pale. I'm not <laughs> pale like this. In, in I cheated and threw a couple of filters on to make me a little, you know, get oh, red. Oh, yeah, give you a rosy. <laughs> Give that rosy cheeks. Uh, Mike's in here. What's up, Mike? Yeah, buddy, you know me, dude. You know. You missed out on lunch today. It was pretty good. We got taquitos. So, what would you say currently? I'm going to remove this. I feel like we talked about it enough. It's distracted me. It's <laughs> it's, it's easily 12 pounds. Yeah, it's all 12 pounds. That's a, I believe that's stainless. Yeah, it's it's a beast. Uh, these old flapping lips is in here. He said, "Got many reef servos on my rigs. Need a pair of 299 LPs for my Pro Moto bikes." Yeah, it's a great servo. I went 900, but 299 LP is plenty of torque for that. Um, if you haven't done so, so far, we threw a video up on our YouTube channel running our Micro 99 for the brake servo. Does really good. Uh, Keep It Fun says, what are the secrets that you're leaking today? Unfortunately, I got denied for all secrets. I had stuff. I mean, it has something to do with like something like this. Like there's a, there was hardware. I was working on stuff. <laughs> I got told no. I was like, do I? And he's like, no. I'm like, I got to have something fun. Like, you can't leave me with nothing. He was like, U4 rigs. And I was like, well, do I get a give the U4 rig away? And he was like, no. I was like, I mean, well, we can we can overcommit him and then he can just guilt into saying no. That'd be or a pretty yes. good time. Or yes, yes or no. And I was looking out. I was like, man, there's nothing out there that I won't <laughs> get fired for. Uh, 
old flapping lips has got the smart 179 for bricks. That's perfect. That's a ton of power. That's that's more than you need. Um, so I mean, we were talking about secrets, and Robert needs a 1100 brass. I mean, I'm not announcing any secrets, but I'm not denying any secrets. <laughs> you never know what's happening. There's a twitch in my eye. Yeah. Something's in there. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, everybody's down. This is just bad. Better ask yeah. for cannabis than permission. <laughs> yeah. This is real bad. Oh, my gosh. There's stuff coming in. Oh, he's watching. Oh, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> don't you have better things to do? Don't. Uh, can I block him? <laughs> How do I block Didn't you have him? an appointment? Did you have something going on? <laughs> I thought you were getting your Brazilian wax. Leave me alone. Uh, who, who put Carl DQ Bart, on his mobile device? Right? He said you can only get fired once. He can't fire me. Uh, everybody's just <laughs> laughing now. Let's see here. Uh, what servo horn do you run on your motorbikes for brakes? We are running our shorty micro horn. And then in the description of that video, there's a little stopper that allows you to grab the cable. It's a, it's all in the video. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty easily done. Uh, everybody thinks I'm just about to get fired. Yeah, I'm going back to him. work. He has eyes everywhere. Yeah. He ain't watching you, Matt. <laughs> he doesn't care about what's going on with you, Matt. He's not, he's not watching. There are other people are watching Matt. <laughs> Every other people are watching Matt. Yeah. We got a lot of people. We had 70 viewers in here. The most so far. This is the winning combo right here. Yeah. Reef's out. Yeah. I'm in. Let's go. Me and Jeremy. Yep. yep. Anytime Reef's away, they're, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a better time. I was digging out. We got a new shipment of stuff in. I was like opening every box. Judah's like, dude, get out. I'm like, I just want to see if there was something new in here. He's like, this is not, I'm trying to work here. And I was like, oh, just, <laughs> let me see what's in here. Let me check into things. Let me check into things. Uh, it was a pretty good time. Uh, but yeah, a lot of very cool stuff coming out. I'm excited for the VRD variable winch mount to come out. Mm -hmm. The 900 LP direct <laughs> is coming out. That's my latest servo. I think it's my new go-to, by the way. Like, I, I really like that servo. What's your what's your current go-to? I know we have different styles, but... Like, go-to for truck? Yeah, like if, you're, if you've got new truck, you're like, I need a servo. What are you throwing in it? Uh, if, it's, mm, if it's scale trail, raw 500 all day. Okay. Um, if it's comp truck, I'm probably going to go a smart 900, uh, okay, or an 800 LP uh, brass or whatever. I mean, that, that's what I run in my stance, and okay, I kind of like my BRD stance. Yeah, um, I did my own winch mount in it. Uh, you know, it was kind of a funny story. I, I had asked Josh, the um, you know, where's where's the winch mount? He's like, it yeah. doesn't need one. And I was like, ah, yeah, funny guy. That's a real me response right there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a very, very loaded response. So Matt and I actually went to a competition up in York, Pennsylvania, uh, and I beat him. We we weren't, you know, we didn't sign up to do the points and all that stuff. Okay. So we were just running the courses. That's more fun for me than running points. Uh, so I beat him, but I never used my winch on the course. And oh. I think I was the only truck to not use a winch on the course. Uh, that particular day, and uh, I was pretty happy with. It. I was like, okay, so I don't need one, um, but I put one on anyway. That's kind of what, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited that that came out. It's really looking good. Um, the flapping lips. He picked up the Vitavon brake horn from GPN to try and made the Reefs micro output slide. So it's perfect. So yeah, that's going to be an easier solution for you guys that are looking to run the 99179 for your Promoto brakes. That will be easier than what I did. I need to order one still. Uh, hey, me again. When do we release the VRD wrench mount? They should have been here today, but we're a little delayed on those. So we're hoping to have them in the next week or so. Um, but we are trying to get them out to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, stock servo came out, man. We, I got behind, uh, animal loves the triple seven. Randy loves the 800 LP. Not sure if the GPM fits the reefs for sure. The Vitavon is made specifically for the reefs micro output swine. I know the Vitavon fits for sure. That's what I was planning on getting until I just utilized ours. Um, you don't need one until you need one. Daniel Fink. I don't know Daniel, but this is the most serious YouTube profile pick I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he's a very serious man. Is he a very serious man? Very serious man. 
Yeah. <laughs> so give it a look at. This is how I did mine. Oh, they're okay. Um, I just I just cut up some bumper mounts from a from a ten three and kind of engineered it to go up front. I love that. Um, keeping everything low and down. You know, yeah, I'm a. Yeah, I like mine. I like the stance. Yeah. It's, it's a nice a, truck. I like the stance yeah. a lot. Um, very very simple, very clean, and with Harley given you know the ability to buy the files like the oh yeah yeah. Um, and the, I just and the body, the interior set. I just like picked just up his interior easy. set for the uh, the comp wagon body. Yeah, I was very excited. Uh, yeah, but that's Matt. A, I didn't even show you. So eight hundred LP. Oh yeah, eight hundred LP. There it is. Matt's yeah. back to lunch. Congrats. Jude the dude loves the Reeves fifty five hundred all day. If you know, you know is what that means. Did you did you see that on Instagram at all? What's that? Uh, the 5500 the 5500 no i didn't see that <laughs> new dog ate all the mouth don't you that? don't you blame kane for anything What's kane that? uh keep it fun said the new dog ate all the mouth don't you blame kane kane is a thousand times better than rocco kane's my boy he's my man <laughs> so uh for what was that day uh april fool's day uh, Mike, our social media guy, posted up. Let me see if I can find it. A 5500 raw with like a multi color package. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, I did see that. It I'm was. Sorry. I didn't realize it was 5500. I thought. Was, oh, yeah. That, well, that um, was the best part. Oh, so they you, can see, you snuck it in. Snuck oh, it in. Man. There was two of them along with the orange one. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the number of people that were like, Brock, I need one of these right away. <laughs> How did you guys get 5500? I was, I was dying. <laughs> I was dying. Yeah. Uh, triple seven all day from uh, White Knight. James, did you change your profile pic in this live? I don't think it was that like an hour ago. I don't think it was. Uh, Jesse likes the colors. I liked, I'm always an orange guy, but I like the blue ones better than the orange. But yeah, Mike did a really good job. And I, I love, there was like people that really were believing it. I think my favorite fake one for the day was uh, Method put out electric only wheels that were somehow, as you stopping, were charging back to your car, which made me laugh. And then the RC four wheel drive. Uh, what, what was their thing? Like yeah, the the hover. The hover thing. Crazy. My favorite part about that was, is it was still a TF two in twenty thirty five. Yeah. It still had leaf springs, and it broke at the end of the video. Video. Yep. Yeah. I was like, yeah. dude, it, this hat like it has to be a joke at this point. Like, right? They're Red, they're making their own jokes. Red Red Cat won my heart with the pink one. Uh, oh yeah, that was the, good. The the seventeen, like that. that I I was that as, looked real. I just wanted to keep reading more. Like whoever whoever developed that, uh, yeah, storyline that was very, you know, uh, I don't know. Well done. It was yeah, it was just well done, well packaged, and and meaningful in in so many different ways for so many different people. Yeah, I thought for <laughs> sure that one was. But real. that pink Show body would sell. <laughs> right, Shelby's in here. Tell Rocco, I'm gonna tell Rocco myself. Rocco knows he's second favorite. You know, yeah. Kane's better. Um, so me and Rocco, uh, when we met, so funny story that dog didn't like me at all. Really, like, we, like he eyeballed me something fierce, and it was while we were eating pizza in the break room. And come to find out, you guys are giving him his crust. Yeah. Oh no. Pizza, we eat all of our pizza. We That's what's wrong with everything. And he was mad at uh, me because I wasn't sharing crust. That's what it so, is. That's what it is. So once I gave him crust, like I think, you know, all good. All good. <laughs> uh, we're we're looking at about another week, Crazy Steve. About another week. Uh, Oscar from Red Cat Racing, who we were just talking about, triple seven and two nine LP are the favorite for my go to builds. And then he wrote. Because size matters. Uh -huh. Wait till you get, if you're loving the triple seven, Oscar, wait till you get direct power 900 LP 4S, baby. It's going to blow mm. your mind. It's the best. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mike knows because Mike's just showing up for lunch every day. Yeah, he just wants the crowds. Right? Is it better, Daniel? Oh, now it's more so. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that is better. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Oh, uh, God. I wish I could pull up the other one again for the reference. Oh, here it is. Look how serious he was. 
Looks like he's going on a job interview for YouTube. I can't even pull that off. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Flapping lips. I have an 1100 and an 800 servo winch in my little Geisha LC crawler. Triple five in my rift. Well, taking it old school and 299 in my drag cars and one of my drifter. I am unfamiliar with the uh, little Geisha LCG crawler. Are you aware of this? No. I don't know. I don't know. If, There's a lot of boutique stuff out there. I'm going to get demonetized <laughs> for that one. I prefer that one. <laughs> and then the 422 HD, my Red Cat Axe Edition. Now, is it our 422 HD or is it the one that came in the Axe Edition? So, for those of you guys that don't know, the Red Cat partnered with Reefs RC for the Axe. And yeah, you got that. I'm all pointing, but you get that servo right there, which was an awesome. We put that up on live a couple weeks ago. Speaking of that, we're pretty deep into this. I've lost track of time of having so much fun. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. It's 145, and we always do a code. Today's code is at ease RC, all lowercase. It is live now on the site. I'm going to shift over real quick and just type that in today's code. Today's discount code. I can't spell. Yeah, Oscar said he still, he still has a V1422. No way. Yep. Now the question is, are you running it, Oscar, or you do you just have it? Can I pin? I, mine is still in a truck. Really? My OG, my OG gold case is still in a truck. Uh, let's see. I got to clear this out. He's still running it. Nice. He's still running it. I took mine out. I got mine just in the box with everybody else's. Yeah, I, um, I, was... I can't. I have two ASD blue servos. And okay. I was, was going to pull the port, the gold out to put one of those in. But I was like, you know what? It's running. Like, it works. So I, I'm just going to leave it in. Yeah, Oscar truly has the OG one because it's pre-laser etching. Yep. It's back only at stickers. Mine still has the lower, like the case sticker, but it doesn't have the top sticker on it. Right. But I, I have two. I have one that works and one that doesn't work. I'm still got the little white waterproof sticker. There you go. The, you know what I mean? On the on the end cap, it's got that little white sticker, I guess, when you manufacture them. I do indeed. Uh Robert rebuilt his and has his on his shelf. Um, Art Hoffer Offer keeps it on the DL. <laughs> oh shoot, I missed one. Uh, did you test the VRD mount with the stubby upside down yet? We did actually. It hits the top of the servo in order to make it work perfectly you're gonna have to drill your own hole which once i have the vrd mount uh the, the production model i'll uh i'll let you know we need an asd 11 what one 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 ha 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 that's too many ones i was like 1111 1111 that's 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 we were discussing last week on the was it last week the last week's live what raw 500 we'd come out with next for a, a color and um i think it's been really like orange green and purple seem to be the top three colors we were talking about i don't like the color green in anything and i think that's just because it's dad's favorite color but i mean an orange one would be sick. i like orange I, I'm... yeah i love an orange one i've been pushing for an orange one for quite some time yeah. Uh, purple would be easy because we have the purple 299 LP, so that, that would be like a very, yeah. very easy thing to do. Yeah, so you keep it fun once orange for Halloween. I think an orange splatter would be pretty cool. But see, then you got – you want purple here. Purple, yeah. Just buy a 299, Jess. Yeah, except the bottom of my hat. Yeah, I, I mean, if they gave me an option to change it from green, I would, unfortunately. This is the <laughs> only one that fits my fat head. Um <laughs> Pink and gray scale rat one. Scale rat's really, really hardened for this. I mean, they'll make you one. You just got to buy a thousand of them up front. <laughs> it's a lot of cash, Robert. <laughs> it's a lot of cash. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I would take one. I'm not going to buy one, but I'll, I'll take number 54 when you make them. So just so you know, that one's ready to go. Yeah, so the numbers. Um, I, I rarely get my first choice uh, because Corey Allen. Um, but it's... He stopped letting us pick our numbers. Yeah, picking um, numbers was just that sending was, us randos. Yeah, picking numbers became to be a real, real thing. Yeah. That's where just like I'm the absolute brat of brats. Like I just he was like, oh, whatever the last one came in, and I was like the pink ones. 
I came in and they were all labeled on the side of the box and just, you know, pallet of servos. I walked over, was like, oh, here's mine. Open it up, just took mine. He's like, yeah. you can't, like, it's not even in inventory yet. And I was like, dude, don't worry. Like, you'll figure it out. Like, just it's leave not... the case in there. Yeah, I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> I haven't taken any of mine out of the case, actually. Oh, jeez. Mine are all sealed in the case. I'm... And then all the ones that have the bag around it, they're sealed in the bag. Yeah, I, I try. But, I mean, my, my triple nine is still in the, the shrink wrap cellophane oh, so it's different. it's still cased and signed that's the only um, one i ran because yeah, i, I a few of them that are still in the bag with the number label on them. yeah that was the only one i ran because we i was running that as like a testing we were originally coming to production with that so i didn't know it was going to be limited edition so that thing i think it's currently well it was until like six months ago in my axial six by six remember when they came out with the unimog six by six yep i had it in there it happened tans um and the the vrt release map uh do i have a release date uh, we're looking for like two weeks from today hopefully next week but probably more around the 15th uh, see there's a lot of greens like i prefer green and it's in his paper <laughs> green like i'm a green guy like people like green i don't get it yeah. um maybe if I'm it gonna... wasn't forest green yeah i, mm, I don't know I don't love it. It's not for me. You know, in my scale trucks, it's, you know, black servos. I, I want to, you know, I want to try and hide them as much as possible. Them. But, you know, so they don't have any builds. You know, people have their colors. <laughs> Randy got in trouble. <laughs> he said, work busted me watching. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> my bus busted me on here, too. Um, yeah, I, do, I, don't, I don't have any. I sold everything that was like ultra, ultra scale uh teal teal now shelly's commenting from reef no i can get behind teal you know that's i mean the, teal's that's better the, than green teal i'm in love with on a, on a you know it's kind of near and dear to me it's you know it, it, it's a suicide prevention oh uh, okay so uh, for the month of june way to make so, it sad jeremy way i can, I can, it sad. I can get i can get behind teal Robert likes teal all the way. I don't want teal for sadness. Those are a happy reason to get teal. Jeez. Not really. No. <laughs> teal and purple are my obsessions. There we go. Oh, See? There you go. Well, Tiffany blue's coming yeah. in. Now we're getting crazy. Isn't Tiffany blue just teal? Kind of. I don't know. I don't know who Tiffany is. Yeah, it's, it, I think it's TS-129. It's teal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's scary. That's that's real bad. I, yeah. Dude, that's one thing. Well, I did a truck in it. So my 6x6 six six up on the top, my Funbringer truck okay. is teal. Man, those cabinets you have look so good with trucks in them. Yeah, there's a couple empty spots because I got the ones that are down at the bottom. There's the ones on the floor. Up. Yeah. yeah Get ready looks, to go up north. It looks great. Yeah, I'm really envious of that. When, you, when we were, Jeremy and I were pre-planning this like Tuesday or something, and he gave me like a, a camera look around of his home shop man i was instantly jealous i was like dude i got i have a garage but there's just so much junk that you end up with like a little like 10 by 10 and then i'm so ridiculous with the way i do everything i just have to make it disgusting before i clean it again so i i have there's a little further my wife will kill me so i have a shop in the back I yeah pressure. see i got my own bathroom i got my tv i got you know 70 inch over there so i can watch tv uh, this this whole side is all workbench. Yeah, it is so much room. So, all workbench. That's about as far as I can go. I hit everything. I learned. It's a good move. I don't put anything in here. We're not allowed to show just for that reason. I had yeah, parts I like up around one time. <laughs> yeah, I had stuff like over in this section, and I was like, oh, I gotta move all that. Yeah, it's exactly what it is, Peza. It's bougie. It it is. It's it's real nice. And I was talking to my daughter the other day, and she was like talking about something and being like snarky and was like, Oh, I'll move out. She's only 14, just turned 14. And I was like, thank God. I've been trying to put my stuff in the house since you kids were born. Like you can live in the garage at any point. Like I'm trying to like air conditioning inside the bathrooms right there. Like that's, that's where it's at. Like I'm not, I got a nice like workbench that I work on. I have like my dual monitors that I watch TV on or videos, YouTube, whatever it is. And then I have like off to the right, like my new section of like new projects I'm working on, yeah. but I need to like gut it and then like redo 
everything again, but. So here, here's a good one. It'll take me a second to get this in because I got to look the other direction. Oh, but no. in that room, what? that room over there is, that's the storage room. The so storage room. That I have bins, I have palletized shelving uh, set up all, all three, you know, all four walls. And I have clear tubs that are like the axial tub, the Viterra tub, the Tamiya tubs. You still have a Viterra tub? I do. That's pretty good. That's pretty so, good. So there's some cool stuff that was done back in that day. Uh, there was some not so cool stuff done back in that day. But the ability to narrow that axle 10 millimeters was very, nice. was very cool. And it's becoming very relevant again. Yeah. Um, with the shop trucks uh, yeah. that RC Everyday is doing. And they're, you know. Well, they also had like one of the first uh, frame rails that could go extend yeah, or collapse. Yeah, you had adjustable. The uh, the grill from the Blazer, uh, I I carved them into the RC four wheel drive. So uh, the Blazer and the uh, K ten trucks, oh, okay. and it gives it a whole different look. Like all you got to do is cut out the marker lights at the bottom, and that grill goes in there. That's and pretty I good. Love it. Yeah, I mean, I thought like it was. I mean, the only problem was the torque twist. Everything else about the truck was really great. Was I remember yeah. at that time I was running a 10 1 still. I had a, a Ford build, it was on a, a metal chassis, had like everything was made around the T Max body. And my buddy Chris had the same body. His was called Big Cam Sam, but his was of a Terra. And man, we would go head to head every crawl, every event, and he is just out there yammering about every video i do on my personal channel he comes on if i'm talking about like the rock pirates rig the scx 10 pro whatever it is he's like where's your vitera pro you know you got your vitera <laughs> pro in there. like he is just dude he had that truck forever and like really made it work like it was very capable it kept up with everything that we were doing but man he put some time in to get it there yeah. but yeah he, yeah, he loved I, I, that truck back, back in that day when the twin hammers with a two speed, we would take the twin hammers transmission and there was a, a gentleman in Italy and this is RC crawler days. So a gentleman in Italy was making a counter shaft for it. So you could switch into underdrive rear. And and this was a long time ago. That's so so cool. you had on the fly, you know, underdrive or what? one, one back in, back in the Viterra days. Yeah, and like th that, I mean, most people today won't understand how rare that was. Like the only yeah. company making a two-speed trans was them, and then RC four-wheel drive had a very yeah. weak one that you could drop in. I mean, I blew up shafts and that thing every other crawl, but those were the only two, anybody remotely doing anything like that. Like no one, you didn't have selectable anything back then. So yeah. them making that was very, very unique in that truck. I still have two twin hammers on my shelf. <laughs> I just I can't I have such a soft spot for twin hammer. I, I have a I have an ascender a blazer and uh yeah, the Viterra blazer and a Bronco that's still in the box. Really? Yeah. No, I don't I don't have enough nostalgia for anything to like keep old stuff. Like as soon as I'm over it, I just sell it. The Bronco for... is a complete accident. I forgot I had it. It was in storage. <laughs> it's in the storage, storage bins. Container. But yeah, those totally those those twin hammers, like I can't, I can't let them go. Like I, I still, yeah. Look, dude, PMF still has one. PSF, like dude, he's got three of them. They're, they're just a great truck. Unfortunately, all of the Rock Pirates guys that were making those RC crawler page, they're no longer around. So you can't get the stand up shock mounts anymore. You can't get any of the stuff you need to make it really viable. Because I was thinking like pre runner mini crawler would be sick yeah. for that truck, but. Yeah, Man, I, I, I love actually it. used the twin hammers front end with uh, Intigy made the the arms and stuff like that for it, and mixed with a Blue Monkey uh, stand up shock tower. Yeah, I'm, I'm had, showing my age. I had the Blue Monkey. What and was the? There was an Irish guy that made the uh, other shock tower that was super popular. Uh, yeah, that was the flat metal one. The yeah. Blue Monkey was the machined. Hoops yeah, all exactly. That. Yeah, the flat metal one was like the one you could have made in your garage with like a little bit of time. Those yeah, were, yeah, that's what I had. I had the NTG one too, and then yeah, that battery tray in the rear. I had all yeah. the little tricks. 
Makes you want to redo it. They just sit there. Going down memory lane here. I just look at them. I'm like, oh, those are so nice. And then we I lost everybody. They just, yeah, they, dude, we, they we plummeted so quickly. They heard the terror of Twin Hammers and just like, let the old guys talk about old guy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're pretty much wrapped up anyways. We pretty much hit an hour. We try to keep these right to an hour. Um, like I said earlier, today's code for discount is live. It is at EaseRC. Um, just in celebration of Jeremy on with us today. Looks like we've kind of caught up on the chat. Uh, anything from you before we go, Mr. Kilburn? I, I greatly appreciate the the offer and the ability to come on and uh, and and you know kind of give a presence to to Reef uh, and thanks to Reef for everything you've done for me and my ability to RC all over the country and some of the world. Uh, I appreciate it all. And I'm, I'm very humbled by it. Thank you. Well, I love that. I love having you on the team, buddy. You are like family, and I, I can't wait to see you next month. Uh, last one before we go, Robert asked who's on next week. Hopefully, Reef will be next week. Um, I, don't, I don't think Robert and I could do a show together. It would end in like four minutes. I'd just be like nine <laughs> different talking, like, ah, just busting balls all day. Like, uh, yeah, it would be, it'd be really fun. Well, Mr. Kilburn, you have yourself a wonderful evening. Hopefully, I didn't interrupt nap time like I did last week. And, uh, nope. I took a nap early today. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one, buddy. Everybody else, thanks for like watching. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Does it end?